meet a Canadian who is now being persecuted for self-defense. From Daily Wire, by Aaron Bandler, August 1st, 2017. A Canadian man defended himself during a home invasion and now he's being persecuted for doing so. The incident occurred on July 12th when a home in Nova Scotia was broken into by three men, all of whom were armed. Along with the help of another man in the residence, Kyle Earl Monroe was able to wrestle a gun out of the hands of one of the criminals and fired it at the man, prompting the three men to flee. One of the men was shot by Monroe, but is expected to survive. And yet, for the simple act of defending himself, Monroe could face jail time. The charges he faces include attempted murder, intent to discharge a firearm, intent to discharge a firearm when being reckless, careless use of a firearm, improper storage of a firearm, pointing a firearm, possession of a weapon for dangerous purposes, unauthorized possession of a firearm, possession of a firearm knowing that possession is unauthorized, and possession of, for the purpose of trafficking, according to the Chronicle Herald. He is scheduled to appear in court on August 22nd. Until then, he cannot contact two specific individuals. He cannot even possess a cell phone or pager, and he cannot leave his house unless he needs to attend essential activities such as work or medical appointments, per the Chronicle Herald. Unfortunately, what Monroe is going through is not uncommon in Canada. Here's another similar example. The whole thing reminds me of Ian Thompson, an Ontario man who went through a similar ordeal a few years ago. In that case, Thompson woke up to four men throwing Molotov cocktails at his home. Living a long way from police, the former firearm instructor fired warning shots at his assailants, put out a fire that could have burned down his home and then called police. He was charged and also faced more jail time than his attackers. Thompson was acquitted, but not before he was forced through a lengthy court battle that has ruined him financially. As the aforementioned column goes on to state, a law was passed under Prime Minister Stephen Harper to prevent jail time against those defending themselves, yet Michael Woodard face charges for doing just that against three home invaders. Clearly, Canada doesn't respect the right of self-defense. No, sir. Doesn't at all. Canada is a nanny state.